All right, this is uh, fifth grade, module two, lesson five. And in this lesson, students are gonna be adding and subtracting fractions uh, with like convenient denominators because really the focus isn't necessarily on a super awesome algorithm at this point. At this point, parents and teachers, students are gonna be using pictorial models, pictorial representations, number lines and tape diagrams to help them understand what's going on. Later, we're gonna learn the algorithms, so let's get started on this. And what we're gonna do is, oops, let me scroll up, and there we are, consider the expression. So first we're gonna start with just a couple of estimation problems. So it says mentally estimate the sum or difference, and so we've got five, four, uh, five eighths and three fourths. So I know that five eighths is um, a little bit bigger than a half, but not by much. I can see that three fourths is bigger than a half, but less than a whole. So something bigger than a half plus bigger than a half, it cannot be less than one. And since they're both like bigger than a half, but less than one, it tells us our answer is gonna be between one and two. There's no way it could be greater than two because you would need something like something bigger than one plus something bigger than one, that kind of a thing. And then here's one, two thirds, which is less than one whole. And we're gonna take away two ninths. So if we start with something that's less than a whole, that's two thirds, and then take away from it, there's no way we could be between one and two, and there's no way we could be greater than two. That means our answer has to be less than one. All right, so now, we're gonna use um, some pictorial representations. All right, so we're gonna start with this 3 fourths plus 1 eighths, and we're gonna start by modeling 3 fourths on the number line, I mean, on a tape diagram. So there's our 3 fourths on a tape diagram. Without drawing a new tape diagram, let's just add on to this existing tape diagram, where would 1 eighths, how would we represent one eighth. Well, I know that if I cut each of these four pieces into two, instead of me having three fourths, I now have six eighths. That means one eighth is going to be right here, one eighth. And so if I were to shade that in right there, I'm gonna have seven eighths as my total final answer. So what is that gonna look like up here in filling the blanks? Well, three fourths, I chopped each of those fourths into two pieces, that's how I created, created eighths. So three fourths is now six eighths, plus that extra eighth gives me seven eighths. All right, following in that same fashion, one half take away one fourth. Well, I've got the model for one half going on here, but somehow I need to represent fourths because I need to represent that fourth. So what am I gonna do? Well, I see that if I just cut each of these halves into two pieces, I now have fourths, which means that one half is no longer called one half. Now it's called two fourths. And if I want to take away or cross off one fourth, I would just cross off one of those fourths and I'm left with one fourth. So what would that look like? What would that look like up here? So that one half got renamed to be two fourths, two fourths. And then I crossed off the one-fourth, because that's what it said for me to do right here. And two-fourths, crossing off one of those fourths, leaves us with one-fourth left over. All right, draw a model to make like units and then add or subtract. So I'm gonna stick with the tape diagram. I could use a number line if I want, but I'm gonna stick with the tape diagram because I like tape diagrams. 
So I'm going to start by drawing my two thirds and let's shade in two of my thirds. So there is my two thirds. Now it says I'm supposed to somehow represent an extra sixth. So how do I represent sixths? Well, if I already have thirds, all I need to do is, oh, let's do dark blue. If I cut each of these into two pieces, this two thirds right here becomes four sixths. Then all I have to do to add one more sixth is right here. There's my one sixth right there. And so I get two thirds plus one sixth becomes four sixths plus one sixth, which is five sixths. I can see that plain as day right there, five sixths. Now let's do the same thing only with subtraction. All right, so here is my tape diagram. And I'm gonna begin by representing eight tenths. So that means I have to chop this baby up into 10 pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I need to shade in eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is my eight tenths. Now I need to subtract three fifths. So how do I how do I see three fifths in this? figure. Well, somehow I need to, that five means I need to cut this into five equal parts. Well, that actually ends up being kind of easy because all I have to do is combine them in there. There's a part, one part, there's one fifth, there's one fifth, there's one fifth, and there's one fifth. So if I wanted to remove three fifths, if I wanted to remove three fifths, there is the three fifths that I'm gonna remove, but three fifths is really six tenths. Look at that. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four, five, so three out of five. So one, two, three fifths is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six tenths. So three fifths is equal to six tenths. So now my number sentence becomes eight tenths, take away six tenths. So if I'm gonna take away six tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't like what how I did that. Let's do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I took away my six tenths, which is the same thing as taking away three fifths. And what am I left over with? What do I have left over right here? I end up with two tenths left over, which interestingly enough is also one fifth. I can see that it's one fifth. All right, let's do a little bit of remembering here. Uh, Toby spends 11 twelfths hours walking every day. How many hours does Toby spend walking in one week? Oh my goodness. So in one day, he walks this uh, 11 twelfths hours. And I wanna know how, how many hours does he work in or walk in one week? Well, that's seven days, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's my seven days, and each of these is 11 twelfths. Each is 11 twelfths. And I'm gonna add those up, and I know what I can do is I can, I can kind of rob from this last guy and give it to each of these other guys to kind of fill out one hole. So like if I 
chop him down to 10, I can turn that guy into a 12. And then if I take another one away, now he's only nine, I can make him a 12. And if I take another one away, so it becomes eight twelfths, then that becomes 12 twelfths, make, meaning makes it a one whole, makes that one whole, makes that one whole, makes that one whole. So I'm at eight twelfths over here. Let's take yet another one away. So now I'm down to seven twelfths. I'll just kind of write it like that, seven twelfths. That means that can be bumped up to 12 twelfths, which is one whole. And then let's take another one away. So that makes it six twelfths, one twelfth. Take away a twelfth, that makes it six twelfths. That bumps this up to 12 twelfths, so that's one whole. And let's rob again take another twelfth away so that's down to five twelfths and we're going to give it to this guy so that's twelve twelfths and that makes one whole and so what do we end up with as our final answer we end up with six holes plus five twelfths left over look at that that's kind of a sneaky way of adding and that wow that was a quick one and that wraps up uh, grade five module two lesson five where students are adding and subtracting fractions you know with convenient denominators using pictures to help understand what's going on and just don't forget to subscribe <laughs>